bit of Brazil from downtown Portland. That's how we like to roll on PD Exposed. Hi, I'm your host, John Olson. We take you to the Brazil Grill, a carnivore's paradise, one of my favorite restaurants we've ever featured. We'll also take you to PIR for our In Motion segment for the American Le Mans series. And then we'll skip you right downtown Portland to the city sports bar for a cornhole tournament. Yep, I said cornhole tournament. You'll see. It was a lot of fun. Hair removal, laser hair removal, and laser skin treatments are the hot thing today. So to be in the know and to learn the haps, we visited American Laser. SEI is an amazing organization that is putting smiles on the faces of children and parents all over, especially in North Portland. We take you to one of their events we recently filmed, and I, for one, have much respect for SEI. We love featuring our favorite cool cat musicians of Portland, and Justin Hopkins is exactly that. He and his band absolutely brought the house down at the Aladdin Theater. You guys are going to love it. So, kick back and get ready to enjoy this episode of PD Exposed. We'll see you back here in a few. in an accident, protect your rights and your health. For an attorney and a doctor near you, call 866-730-HERT, even if the accident was your fault. I'm Ken Boddy with Coin TV, and you're watching PD Exposed. Tremendous effort to put a race like this on. All big races, all big events. Champ car comes up, American Le Mans, Ferrari Challenge. We threw in a couple tennis tournaments. We're a pretty big event company. This company did, uh, for a number of years, they did uh, rock concerts. They started the Oktoberfest. They also did like 500 movie premieres. Yeah, so it's a big deal. You guys are busy guys. Well, it's a big deal and you're a big deal. Well, I'm not sure. A I'm big kahuna. A, well, I'm a big kahuna, but it's not on my business card. It says assistant big kahuna. What does it take to be a Pirelli girl? I think you have to have a great personality and be able to get along with you know, all different types of girls. We get to meet all kinds of people all across the country. We have tons of fun. Have to be able to talk to a crowd and all kinds of kids. It's a lot of fun. You just have to be nice to all the cute kids that come to the race, take your picture with them, and basically just be friendly and be cute and just be an overall good person. <laughs> They're being nice to me and I'm not a cute kid. One of the cool things about the American Le Mans series is that the fans have much closer access. They have these paddock open houses before the race where you can come down, meet the crew, meet the drivers, get up close and personal with the cars. It's pretty cool. Hi. Hi there. See what I'm talking about? Motorsport fan base is just growing astronomically. What, what do you attribute that to? Well, first of all, I think we're a little bit different uh, because in the true sense of the 24 hours of Le Mans, we have uh, four classes of cars all on the racetrack at the same time. It's a pretty interesting race, it? being that we got the four classes, P1, P2, GT1, and GT2. So there's pretty much always exciting racing going on. You've got faster cars, slower cars, so there's always action and, and passing going on in the track at all times. There's always a battle in, in one of those classes for first place, generally speaking, so it makes for, for great television, too. Here's another reason that you want to be on PD Exposed, because we bring you good luck. Remember that number seven car, the DHL car that we were hanging out by in the pits? He is in first position in the P2 category. That's right, baby. PD Exposed brings you good luck. Everybody wants to feel better and most importantly, look better. Well, you can achieve both at American Laser. Laser hair removal is one of the hottest things going in this country today. And we have a special treat because Brittany, Julie, our production manager's daughter, is joining us for her second appearance on PD Exposed. Welcome back, Brittany. Thank you. So what are you going to have done and why laser hair removal? I'm going to get my armpits done, and I just think it's a great idea. It's a big convenience, never having to shave again. I, I would agree. It's... I'm not going to get my armpits done, though. Oh, what are you going to do? got a couple spots on my face, and I don't know what it's called, but I'm going to probably learn what it's called. It's like not dermabrasion, photo, facial stuff, but bottom line is I just want them, I want them gone. I understand. All right, you ready? Yeah. American Laser, let's do it. Okay. 
Okay, Tina, what happens in this room? In this room, we do microdermabrasions and pills. It basically breaks down the skin cells so that you can get deeper and deeper down the skin. You would have one treatment every week or so, um, and then you'd have a series so that you're going farther and farther to help with you know, fine lines. Um, it helps with the texture of your skin. A lot of people with acne do them because it's great for that to help get rid of you know, the acne scarring. This is the room where I get my stuff done, right? Right. What happens in here and what are you going to do to me? This is the room where we do the photo facial. Um, the photo facial is used for sun damage, age spots, it gets rid of anything vascular, so broken capillaries. Um, it treats rosacea and it also builds collagen in your skin too, so you'll notice a big amount of difference in the texture of your skin with this also. There's a vein here, there's a little spot right. that's driving me crazy. Right. So we're just going to do a couple little spots um, and then what will happen is it will basically collapse the broken capillary so that it will disappear. There's different settings on all the different pieces of equipment for different skin types. There's a setting that's safer for you rather than somebody that has really light skin or somebody that has darker skin. Okay, so what happens in this room? So in this room, we do the laser hair removal. Um, we have two rooms that we do that in. Brittany's going to be in here. Talk about her procedure. What should she expect? We are going to go ahead and treat her underarms. Um, it's a pretty quick procedure. It's going to take about 15 minutes. What she'll expect is just, you know, it's just a little tiny, feels kind of like a little rubber band snap. Um, and it's pretty quick and easy. And then when she gets done, it'll just feel like a slight little sunburn for about 15 minutes or so. Okay, so our visit here at American Laser Center is, is complete. I was very pleased. What about you? I thought it was great. Tina was so wonderful. She answered all my questions. And all I have is five more treatments. And it's going to be guaranteed if it ever grows back. Look at it. What Looks very nice. I'm pretty impressed. Well, this is pretty much the hottest thing going in this country right now. So Britt and I are officially in the in crowd. So if you guys want to be hip like us, visit the nearest American Laser Center near you. You guys know on PD Exposed, we love bringing you culture. And right now, I love food because I'm pretty starving right now. So why not have some churrasco right in downtown Portland? What is it, you ask? Traditional Brazilian barbecue at its best. We're at the only Brazilian barbecue place, the one and only between San Francisco and Seattle, the Brazil Grill in downtown Portland. And I'm starving. Let's eat. So there's an actual order of things if you come to the Brazil Grill. The first thing after getting settled into your table is to visit the salad bar, which has a multitude of traditional Brazilian tasty food items. Okay, so now that we've finished with the salad, which was very yummy, thank you very much, it's time for a clean plate. Why? Because it's time for the many, many marvelous meats. So what we do here is we turn this little deal from red over to green and watch what happens. The gauchos at the Brazil Grill are a lot like that one bunny, remember? They keep coming and coming and coming. Straight from Brazil, we have the head chef, Nestor, joining us. There are several courses, lots of preparation you guys go through. We start in the morning uh, cutting and doing the design of the beef. Because the, the beef uh, uh, should to be desired, should to be beautiful uh, in the big, in the long skewer in the rotisserie machine. Can you smell it? I can smell it. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's excellent. The 
Brazil Girl has incredible food, but it also has an amazing wine list and a full bar. And since we're in Brazil, got to have a Brazilian cocktail. Mindy, what are you going to make for me? I'm going to make you a caipirinha. Caipirinha is with lime, sugar, add some cachaça, which is a sugar cane rum from Brazil. Shake it, and there you go. Brazil Grill in downtown Portland. How did it come about? We just did it. We just love the food and we love the people, so here we are. Now the culture. There's a yeah. culture in this restaurant that you won't find in any other restaurant in Portland. Tell us about the differences, as you see it, in the Brazilian culture, not just the culture, but also with food, versus the U.S. They are so much fun. We've had the Lions of Batucada come in and play for us, and we did a little samba. I noticed the little, like, the, the little smirk on your face and the dancing and the shaking of your hips there. That's that whole Brazil thing going on. That's that whole Brazil thing it's going catching on. on. It is. It's catchy. Okay, so let's recap what happens at the Brazil Grill. You walk in, then you go to the salad bar. Flip the puck from red to green, the gauchos come, they bring you food, you eat a lot of meat, then they bring you this incredible dessert, and then you're like me, you're so full that you actually cannot walk out of this place. So then you call the gauchos to take you to your car because you can't walk out of here. And you're watching PD Expos. Most statistics say that Portland's underserved youths are not going to make it in society. SEI, Self Enhancement Incorporated, disagrees. And you know what? So do I. We're at a fundraiser for SEI at their 62,000 square foot facility in North Portland. And I, for one, cannot wait to hear more. Tell us, man, what, what is SEI? SEI is a youth development program providing uh, in-school, after-school, and summer services for high-risk youth, trying to give them opportunity to be exposed to new and different things, try to uh, help them with their attendance, behavior, and eventually get them graduated from high school, on the college, and at the end of it all, hopefully we help produce positive contributing citizens. How did you start this? How did this become a passion for you? Starting SEI in the community that I grew up in, uh, was never a, a second thought. It was just something that growing up we felt like since those folks in the community helped us become uh, positive contributing adults, it was uh, necessary for us to try to do the same thing. SEI not only has their own drum corps, but they have their own song. Listen to this. SEI, I'm so glad I have you in my life, and all because of SEI, in my life I know I will survive. Yeah. It's SEI's 25 year anniversary and these girls are twins and they're 25 years old. And you've been a part of SEI for all this time. Since the second grade. Tell us about your experience with SEI. Well, the first school we started off in was Humboldt Elementary School. And uh, it was the first time SEI was introduced as an in-school program. And uh, the coordinators were Antoinette Edwards and Off Spears. Woo! And well, you know, we'll never forget them. So since um, we were born, we were probably involved in it. What is SEI to you, man? To me, SEI is a positive place where I can come and like get help with my homework and just stay out of the negative stuff that's out in the streets and just a place where I can come and just be myself and grow. To me, they've been more than a program. They've been a family. They've been that extra support that you need and that boost to keep you going. Um, motivation, just strength. Any obstacle, any challenge that you have, or you need to overcome, SEI has been the provider for you, the extra push that you need to get over those humps.
The best thing that we can do is give young people a number of options, help them find out what their gift is, and push them in a direction uh, that will enhance them and give them an opportunity to become a positive contributing citizens. And there, we have countless numbers of kids who have gone through our program where that's the outcome. And that's what makes me feel the most inspired and, and excited about SEI because when we do that, not only does it help those individuals, it helps our community and our city for that matter. How did you get involved with SDI to start out with? I started off volunteering in the classrooms because I wanted to get involved in a charity somehow and I think I'm like everybody else that says I need to volunteer one of these days and so finally I had a friend that inspired me to come here and I just did. I just started in the classrooms and I saw how effective the programs are for the kids and then just being involved over the past several years and being on the board now, I'm, I get talked to by a lot of charity programs all the time and this one just has my heart and soul. Like this rocks my world. I love SDI. because it is college football time and there is no better place than to kick it off than our favorite spot, the City Sports Bar. This is definitely the sports bar in downtown Portland. And we're not here just for college football. We're also here for a cornhole tournament. The game of cornholing. And <laughs> I don't know who came up with the name, but I was just telling John every time I say it, it makes me laugh. Yeah. What we have is one pound bean bags full of corn. The game was started in the Midwest, in Cincinnati, Ohio. So it's an outdoor game similar to horseshoes, and you take this one pound cornhole bag and try to throw it into the hole. So what do you what do you win? Do you win an ear of corn or? You just win and say that you're better than your friends. I think John's gonna try this uh, cornhole game. I, I bet he's gonna be great. And he's got the wrong color or necklace on, so we might have to change that. Big 12, baby. Okay, so my team didn't win, but I'm no longer a cornhole virgin. I'm officially a cornhole player now. Not so good, but it's a lot of fun. Let's go watch some football. I am here with Brett, who is a definite Ohio State fan. Go Buck, the Buckeye State. So how big is this game? Well, it's a historical game. There hasn't been a number one and number two play each other in the regular season for 20 years. We were just outside playing the cornhole game. Yes. Have, are, you, are you a cornhole player? Um, I'm not going to answer that question. I think cornhole is a silly name for the game. Now, I was just talking to an Ohio State fan uh, about why there is so few Texas fans here. We brought some of our Longhorn people with us today. They're upstairs. We're not alone today. Texas! Texas! My bet is on Texas. That's a good, that's a good bet. That's a good bet. John, you gotta try this new lubrication, vodka chocolate martini. Ooh, that is really yes. good. Lubrication vodka is bringing the folks here at the city all these football games that you see from here through February. So it's a really, really great opportunity for you football fans. Come down and enjoy some lubrication vodka. Watch the games on us. Thanks to Tim and his awesome staff at the city, this is the place to watch sports. Absolutely, whether it's the number one and two seed in college football, or any other sport for that matter, I mean, hell, even curling, the city is the place to go. And speaking of sports to start with C, cornholing, you guys. For those of you who thought we made that up, we did not make it up. There's an actual National American Cornhole Association. For more information on cornholing, go to www.playcornhole.org. Check it out.
Relax the Back has been distributing Tempur-Pedic products in the Pacific Northwest for over 12 years. Stu, what's hot at Relax the Back today? One of our most popular models is the Tempur-Pedic Solutions Adjustable Set. This actually came from the medical division and is exclusive for back care industry stores. Wow, the adjustable motor is super soft. It is terrific. It also helps with your hips and shoulders, so it gives you greater pressure relief. Oh, it feels awesome. So what sizes does it come in? It comes in all sizes, even split kings and queens. For more information on this product and other great products from Relax the Back, visit both store locations, including the newly remodeled Beaverton location, or dial the number on your screen. We're the Lubrication Vodka Girls, and you're watching PD Expos. These are our friends. One of my favorite songs this man here, Justin Hopkins, does. What inspires you with your music, though? Oh, I, I hear all different styles. Uh, well, everything, man. Everything inspires you uh, style-wise. I just want to make something that carries out the energy that we want to portray for the song. And I just want, I want lyrics to make sense with like, the music that you're playing. Boundaries, man. Influences. We we got our be we've gotten beat off the sound of a like a spoon hitting a pan. You know, you hear it and it's like ting ting ting. You're like ooh nice. ting 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 ting. ting. Oh, we got some. Give them something to think about I got the cash, you got the time What's your fear? We're rolling with a rebel Babe, I'm burning up You're on fire the, the acoustic song you did tonight, though um, It's the first time I heard you do it paper. What's up with that song? That, that, that is a great song Oh, well, thank you, John. That's uh, it's, it's a song I wrote when we were first making our last record. We kind of decided to leave some space for um, really personal, like emotional songs, and uh, that was one of them. With the struggle of being a man, I think, in this culture and tr being so, uh, I guess, our, what our human nature tells us to do is go, 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 and get and hunt and gather, you know, and do these things. And the reality is, you've got to, at some point in time we have to be nurturers too. And I think that's the um, song is just like wait for the right moment. I promise, when I'm ready, I'll be there. You know. Don't give up. On me now. I am afraid you'll be left out. Just don't stay mad at me, cause I am just mad on paper. This guy's got it down. He's got he's got the guy thing down. He's a great musician, and the chicks were all over the place tonight. So my next question for you is how do you fend him off? You're single. <laughs> You're single right now, man. You're a good-looking guy. You rock it. I mean, seriously. I don't fend him off, man. I don't know what you've, what you've seen of me, but uh, I, I just kind of let it happen. I've, I've completely put away all self-defense skills. Um, whatever ravishing happens, I'm cool with. Dude, that is so open-ended. I can go in so many directions with that right now. <laughs> so what's next for you, man? All right, well, we're going back to L.A. We're going to make this record, and then I'm going to come back to Portland, and we're going to rock your socks off. Really, that's the plan. Like it is. Make tonight. our record and come home. So. You are a homeboy. Dude, this is my home. This is my home. I love the city more than anything. It's
Gracias for joining us on this episode of PD Exposed, or at least I think that's how they say it in Brazil. We also want to thank our sponsors, Comcast, Relax the Back, The Showroom, London Influence, and Latitudes. Please visit our website at pdexposed.com. we got lots of changes happening there. You can check out my blog. You can also watch our show online, or you can drop us a line with your ideas for PD Exposed. Thanks again for joining us on this episode of PD Exposed. Make good memories, everybody. So i got to leave it open now so it dries, right? Janet can blow on it. <laughs> Alright, that was so bad. <laughs> okay, my next question. Why is it called a Brazilian wax and not like a... <laughs> see your face? <laughs> and not like a Portuguese wax or, you know, a Spanish wax. Why, why is it called a Brazilian wax? You're asking the wrong lady, honey. <laughs> no, John is nowhere to be found.